Hi my dear students. So today through this video I am going to explain you the rest two different type of the diet and in diet speech the rules as I have explained you in my previous video about the rules to how to change from direct to indirect uh, about the sentences assertive or declarative or interrogative. Now I am going to today I am going to explain you about how, what are the rules to convert or to change from direct to indirect which sentences are related to the imperative sentences. As you know the imperative sentences are type of sentences which are expressing the type of orders, command, suggestion, advice etc. So one thing you have to remember that whenever we have to use say word that is going to become tell or told said to become told in that place we have to use either command advice or request just like i have written one thing here to explain you that what type of sentence is going to convert or going to use what type of word on place of say or told just like for example, the sentences which are having type of command, order, bid or telling, those old sentences should have command word, commanded, he commanded or he command to him, like this. Second is prohibition word is used for the sentences in which any type of forbid is given. Next is we are going to use advice whenever any type of sentence which are describing, expressing any type of advice or urge. Next, we have to use request, the which sentences are related to any type of request, any type of asking of anything, any type of desire which we want from another person. Next, whatever sentences which are proposing something or suggesting something, that sentence should have proposal word to be used. Next, entreaty. Entreaty is going to use on those type of sentences in which sentences we have to express with. Either we are praying or begging etc. So those type of sentences should have the word entreaty. Then next rule is that, that whatever we are using a word that is that word in declarative sentences and we are removing all the commas in that place we are going to use to infinitive in place of that word next we have to see about all type of pronouns whenever we are changing from direct to indirect speech so these all rules are very much important in imperative sentences rest Tenses are going to change as it is you are changing in declarative or as well as in interrogative. So let's talk about the other type of sentences. Now about exclamatory sentences. As you know exclamatory sentences are those sentences which are showing or which are representing expressing the sudden feelings. Whenever we are having sudden feelings, some type of sudden words or some type of sudden sentences come out from our mouth. So those sentences are known as exclamatory sentences. So what are the rules of exclamatory sentences to change from direct to indirect? For first thing is that, first rule is that, that you have to keep in your mind just like say or tell. These uh, words are going to change into cry out, wish, pray, confess, etc. Seeing the sudden feelings word which are coming out through the sentences. So you have to first read the sentences and then you have to write down what exactly it is expressing. Accordingly, I have written some type of exclamatory words and where it is going to use. Next rule number two is Whenever we are using exclamatory form, which are there in the direct speech, whenever we are going to change it into indirect speech, the form from exclamatory sentence, it is going to change to the statement. No exclamation mark or no exclamation sign should be used in the 
इन डायरेक्ट स्पीच वेन एवर वी आर कन्वर्टिंग इट फ्रॉम डायरेक्ट टू इन डायरेक्ट स्पीच नेक्स्ट थर्ड रूल इज दैट आई हैव रिटन हियर सम पर्टिकुलर वर्ड्स विच आर एक्सप्रेसिंग सम पर्टिकुलर फीलिंग्स जस्ट लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल हुर्रा वर्ड इज एयर दैट इज exactly expressing the joy happiness then what type of word express surprise what a beautiful building it is like that means surprising building surprise it is showing surprise hash or hush it shows a type of having attention from the person whom we are just speaking through next is bravo or here these are showing approval then next we are having alas alas word is expressing sorrow expressing grief so we have to write down grief or sorrow in place of tell or said to or say next is poo these show type of contempt which we are going to express through the exclamation word so these particular words are there which are expressing what type of uh, feeling that words are expressing that word particular word only we have to use in the place where we are writing or it is written there say or said to or tell next is there that in third rule that in place of that conjunction that conjunction is only used to remove all the commas and we are going to use that word next we are having the exclamation mark uh, from the word either it is in word with the word or at the end of the word in both condition it is going to remove whenever it is converting into indirect speech one example i have written here to make you understand like she said alas he is dead so alas word is showing grief or sorrow so we can write down that she cried out with sorrow that he was dead this will be the answer you are seeing here no exclamation marks are there and this alas word come out because this is with sorrow so cried out with sorrow it is written here in place of said to or tell so i hope that you all have understood well direct and indirect speech you have to watch my both video together to uh, just understand it so thank you god bless you and take care